How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another car mechanic simulator video and in today's video guys We are gonna be finishing up our v8 twin turbo swap on this uh, Ford uh, 2018 f-150 um, as you guys can see though There's something a little different going on in the shop right now. It is currently uh, I guess they I guess they just released their Christmas patch um, our Christmas update. So we got some Christmas festivities popping up in the shop here. We got pretty cool Christmas tree. We got some, what is this? Just white and yellow lights stringing up there. All the way over here, over here. Well, let me peek around. Let's see if we have anything else in here. Anything in the shop or in the office? Nope. Oh, nothing up top here. All right. Well, I mean, hey. We got a Christmas tree over here, and that's pretty cool. So I figured I would show you guys that. Uh, but all right. Huh, interesting. Cool. Yeah, but we're going to finish this build in today's video, guys. So it's been about two days since I did a video. And that is partly because I have been struggling on my truck in real life. Um, I finally got my exhaust manifold off. But I still have two studs stuck inside the engine block. So I'm trying to get those out so I gotta do it like a day at a time pretty much so I might get it out later today I'm not sure if I'm gonna try at it um, I gotta get something something to get it out because I use vice grips right now but uh, let's get into this so where are we at here okay so we got the V8 in so you still gotta do body suspension braking and interior okay well you know what I say first let's do suspension really quick I say really quick and it's gonna take me 20 minutes but let's do suspension first and then we'll do tires um, we can slap some new tires on here like these those tires are gonna be looking like these they're probably gonna paint them a, a darker color probably like a gray or something like that so I'm not sure I think we we're doing blue on this so gray might be nicer or black uh, but yeah get the tires brakes and then we'll do the body and interior and then we should be good and if you guys didn't see Towards the last end, towards the end of the last video, if you guys didn't see, this thing makes 1,295 horsepower. Now that's that's a lot of horses for uh, for this little XLT right here. So I am uh, pretty impressed with that. Um, so I hope you guys are too. I'm just pretty pretty shocked. It came out a lot better than we thought. I was actually able to run it. Uh, no bed on there, just like no doors, just got it running down to the bare basics, and we were good to go. So, I'm gonna go through this, guys, really quick. I'm gonna give you probably like a minute time lapse. Me just going through stripping this old thing down, putting it all back together, and then we'll be back to do the body, brakes, and all the other stuff. Or actually, no, brakes will be done. So, the body. I'll see you guys in a second.
All right, guys, there we go. I got the whole suspension torn down, the front end put back together, and now it is time to do the rear end here. The rear end is actually incredibly easy uh, nowadays just because... Let me get these leaf. There we go. Just because usually most of the stuff I'm doing is going to have the rear leaf spring uh, suspension. And as some of you guys may know, the rear leaf spring suspension is incredibly easy. Let me see here. Okay, so we need to go get one more leaf spring and two more U-bolts. Okay, and then let's also grab our rubber bushings. We need a bunch more regular sized. Uh, what else did we need? Oh, 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 shocks. That's not how you spell shock. There we go. Rear shock was over B's. That's what it usually is. All right, there we go. Oh, and guys, I think I'm going to be doing a video coming up here soon. I'm not sure when. Um, I'll probably record it here soon. But uh, it's going to be kind of a informational video on Car Mechanic Simulator. It's going to be more of like how I do things. Uh, it's going to be like the, like probably like a, basically, basically it's going to be like a tips and tricks video um, that I'm going to put out. Uh, it's going to be like my like most recommended ways of making money, some other ways of making money. Um, basically just like the general things of me playing, I think I have almost 500 hours in this game, which is a good amount. I mean, it's not as much as like some other people may have, but 500 hours, I've definitely, I've definitely seen, uh, seen some ways to do stuff a little bit quicker than probably the normal, but I'm going to be putting out a video coming out here soon. Probably, I don't even know if it'll be like a full, like 10 minutes long, probably a little bit of a shorter video. Um, just cause I'm not really sure entirely what I could do it on. Um, but yeah, it'll be a tips and tricks video showing you guys stuff that I've seen that hopefully you guys could apply if you're playing the game, make it a little bit easier, quicker for you guys to do stuff. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Just saying, I was just letting you guys know about that one. Okay. Calipers. Good. Uh, yeah, this tire. All right, drive shaft. So yeah, we could honestly take this car right now, our truck. I mean truck. Um, as long as we slap on, let me think. What would we have to get on? As long as we put on, I think a driver's seat. We could just take this thing out and drive it right now. No bed, no nothing. But we're not gonna do that. Okay, there we go. So next item on the block is going to be tires hold on let me grab something uh -huh. i usually write down the tire sizes that i'm going to do just so i don't mess it up we need 245 by 70 by 17s but we're going to bump those up to 18s and leave it the same size okay um and then we're gonna buy the ford f350 rims to slap on there with it and then we'll do probably some drag tires actually uh actually no we'll do mm, i don't know drag tires would probably be the best decision um but i'm not sure if we want to actually do drag tires um rim uh, let's see slicks yeah the slicks uh only issue is, is it's just not very i don't know it's got a lot of horsepower but i don't want to be drag racing this one i want it to be more of an off-roader all right 18 uh 245 uh we'll make that bigger definitely do uh 295s uh by 70. and then next thing up is we're going to paint these um a dark gray almost almost a black but not quite black okay let's see it what can we do for these ones let me get to that view there we go uh 24 looks pretty good to me yeah that's a nice uh a nice gray charcoal gray you know there we go Yeah, anything darker than this, it's pretty much going to turn the rim black, so just stick to the gray. 
Ah, ran through the cloud. Okay, there we go. Now we can mount these. Oh yeah, those are gonna be some beefy boys. And while those mount, hold on, we'll be working on the body at the same time. Alright, there we go. Yeah, those are gonna be some big ones. Alright, so take this door. I'll take both those headlights. Can I repair the door? Okay, I can. I'm probably not going to use those headlights, but I'll just repair them just in case. Probably, I'm actually just repairing them to sell them pretty much. Okay, so first things first. Let's go to the community cars. Go to the 2018 150. Okay, so there is a lot to choose from here. Let me pull these. I could make it look like a Lariat, actually. I could body swap it to a Lariat. Ooh, maybe we'll do that, actually. If I could find the Lariat edition stuff. Okay, so we'll start from... Uh, let me see here. What's Clamshell? What Clamshell they want? Clamshell 7. Okay, so Clamshell 7 is the one that they're saying. I don't see that one in here, but... Trunks and taillight... Trunk and taillight 7. Okay. You know what? We're going to go with... Oof, this is a tough decision. We're going to go with this bed. We're going to do... Tinted this and this. Okay, now hold on. Let me go up to the other painted ones. This one and this one. I uh, will take this hood. We're doing the Lariat. Um, we're going to go the darker. These. I got the hood. Uh, we're going to paint it all around. Almost no chrome. Actually, no, we need the black, not the. Not the painted. Need the black. Okay, there's a lot. We bought a lot there. Oh, we don't have any. Should be one more. Oh, that's the last one. Okay, that went a lot quicker than I thought. Actually, actually, let me get that out of there. There we go. All right, rear clamshell on. I was gonna say it's not like a super short bed or something, is it? Uh, we'll get the blacked out bumper on. Let me scroll all the way down. I want the Ford logo on ours. Get the regular taillights in there. Okay, next up. Start from the rear, go from the doors. Man, the windows, when they have like bad windows in this game, the windows look bad. They're like scratched beyond belief and everything. Ooh. Oh, see, so we can do the layer. Oh, dude, yes. Okay, there's the black. Ooh, let me, no, 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 no. Oh, we don't have the bumper yet. We have the front end, but not the bumper. There we go. Um, bumper, I think we're going to go with a painted bumper. Ooh, actually. Oh, man. It's, it's a tough decision here. These two are the, basically the same. But this one's up a little more. That's what we want. Yeah, we want the, the bumper that's up a little bit. Yeah. A little bit of a smaller front, front bumper there. Get that one in. With the painteds. Okay. What's it looking at? 92, which means we probably only need the, uh, what do you call them? License plates. Jeez. I'll probably only need license plates and then we're done. Let me get all this in. Oh yeah, those fit. Oh yeah, those fit. 
You know, we can even take this out on the off-road track and see what it can really do. Okay, there we go. Our Lariat is done. This is, okay, so technically it's an XLT is what the, the like the title says. But we're going to say it's a Lariat just because it has all the Lariat stuff on it. Um, I mean, it is like an engine swap, so it's not really even that. But we'll just say for the sake of things, it's got, it's that. Oh, wow, that, uh, that green is pretty cool. Let me go back to the blue, though. Okay, give us some more color. Wow, perfect. Boom. Any liveries? Oh, wow, it has liveries. Whoa, you can do a state trooper livery. Oh, that's cool. Whoa. That's what we're doing for now. No, we'll leave it at this. We can paint it back over if we want to. But there we go. Yeah, if uh, if this was coming after me, um, I don't think I would want it to because this thing would definitely catch me. Oh, is this thing under there too? Oh, it just says that on the top. Oh, okay. All right. Next up, really quick. Let's get some police plates on here since it just dramatically took a turn. Dang, no police plates, really? Uh-oh, what do I do? Okay, that's all right. We'll do South Carolina. We'll do that. Boom. And boom, there we go. All righty, what is this thing worth? 150K. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's move this back over there and let's work on the interior. Oh, I gotta move that truck out of the way first. Okay, so we gotta work on the interior here for a minute. Let me get these out of there. Go back to normal. So let's get some new seats. We're gonna do the 350 seats. Actually, no, this 350 wheel. And then we're just gonna get some. Yeah, that one looks good. All right, interior assembly. Oh, these are the same ones that were in there already. Awesome. Oh, then it lets us add. Okay, we need a bench seat. Uh, bench. Oh, okay. So, uh, what are they looking for? I don't know. You know, we'll try, I'm assuming they want a big bench seat, so. Let's just try the earthquakes. Will these fit in here? No. Dang. What seat fits in here? It has seat belts. I can see that. Uh... I don't know, guys. Let's try the Quattro Port seats. Nope, no seats. All right. Well, this police truck's gonna have no no rear seats here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep buying seats just to see what fits. All right, make sure this guy starts. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she starts up. I also just realized something that we have not done yet. Oh, I can't believe I almost forgot to do this. We got to clean the interior out. You guys will see what I'm talking about. The interior, like that. Notice on the shift knob um, or the gear selector, it's a little bit crusty. So, oh yeah, there we go. She's back to mint. What is it at now for a price? One hundred and fifty-four thousand dollars. You know what? I'll take that. Well, there we go, guys. There is our 2018 Ford F-150 quote quote lariat edition with 1295 horsepower basically 1300 horsepower and then 11 and a half yeah 11 and a half oh my gosh 100 pounds of torque that's insane oh my gosh but well, there we go guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i definitely did if you did leave a like and a comment down below i would love to see it um but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully i'll see you on the next car mechanics in later video See ya.